G'day, kindred collectors. Okay, so today I'm doing some uh, coins of the week that I've picked up from the shops. Some, uh, some colours, odd bits that I'm keeping for different reasons. I'll, I'll get into that shortly. Um... But first, I want to talk about the news. So, um, tomorrow, Thursday, apparently uh, there's going to be an Olympic $1 coin released. And, oh, well, two $1 coins, Paralympics and, and regular Olympics released tomorrow. They're both $1 coins. They're both coloured. So if you want them, uh, good luck, because I think they're going. The rumor is they're low mintage, about thirty thousand made. But they're charging, um, I believe, twenty dollars for each one dollar coin. So uh, needless for me to say, uh, I'm not particularly interested in that. But if you are, um, it'll be a not intended for circulation. Olympic and Paralympic coins, $1, uh, coming out tomorrow. So, if you want those, you've got to be in it to be in it quickly to get it. Um, and um, it'll make a nice coin for your collection, but uh, I can see, well, I can't see, but I expect that to, to drop in, uh, to drop below the regu the recommended retail cost of 20 bucks uh, probably be quite a few years before that's before a dollar coin is worth that much I would imagine but anyway um, punter beware buyer beware I guess uh, but for those who like to collect absolutely everything uh, hope you get yours tomorrow So tomorrow being Thursday, the 30th of May. Alright, so let's see what I got this week. So let's start at the top here. The Beloved Ram. Pretty nice condition. 1991. 4.7 million of those were made. Uh, I'll just flip it over so you can see the other side. There we go. There we go. Next we have a 20 cent piece. International Year of Volunteers. Now um, I'm a little bit disappointed. The, uh, the reverse is in pretty good shape. Just a little bit of muck there but the reverse is, I don't know, it's shocking. Yeah. Don't know what happened there. Maybe it was just sitting face up on muck. Anyway, it's my first one of those, so I'll keep it for now. If I find a better one, I'll replace it. Okay, um, next. Oh, 2013 five cent piece. IRB effigy. Nice condition. That'll just, uh, that'll just be part of a set. There's nothing real special about that. Aside from the fact that, um, five cent pieces should come with a health warning. Eye health. Really difficult to see those small numbers on the five cent coins. So don't burn your eyes out on the five cents. Now uh, what have we got here? Uh, 20, 2019 IRB. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I like to keep uh, 2019 because there was so many different coins released that year 
and the split miss uh, the split effigies so that's the IRB and you can also get the uh, uh, the JC effigy as well in 2019 just a standard mob of ruse this one Hold on. Oh. Uh, no rotation or anything like that. All right, what's next? Um, okay, I found this colored uh, Wallabies coin. Uh, 2019. So that's really cool. It's not actually listed on the, the Royal Australian website, Mint website. Um, I had to get the details elsewhere so apparently they're 2.17 million the wallaby coin and the effigy IRB Ian Rank Broadley and JC is Jody Clark. So that's Ian Rank Broadley. Um, and next, okay, these ones are just shinies and uh, they're shiny new ones. We've got um, 20 Cent Memorial 2020. Uh, so they'll just go in my my collection just to make up shiny sets really I don't think there's anything too special about that uh, aside from being shiny a 2021 10 cent piece memorial uh, no that's not memorial it's the JC 10 cent piece and then Two five cent pieces from 2021. Uh, nice and shiny. Um, I'm just keeping the shiny ones to make up sets, really, but I don't think there's anything too special about those two. They're both 2021. Uh, what else did I get and change? Anzac. So, as most of you know, 2014 is worth a dollar because they made millions upon millions of them. This one is 2016. What's the vintage on that? 2.19 million. Uh, I also got this one. Uh, this is Great Aussie Coin Hunt Series 3 Zinc. Pretty sure it's 3. It's either 2 or 3. So Z for Zinc. Um, did I write anything down about that? Mintage, ah, so being a gatch coin, great Aussie coin hunt, mintage is 456,000. That's pretty cool. There it is. Dorothy the Dinosaur Wiggles coin. What's that, 2 million? Coloured? 2021? So that's that's all in change. I'll keep those because they're, they're all rare, listed as rare mintages, only 2 million. Uh, 
And then we've got two 2022s. <clears throat> Mobaroos. Shiny. So, again, I'm just keeping them for shiny sets. And then a 2022 20 cent piece. Nice and shiny. But I don't think there's anything particularly special about that. And the last one there is... Just your Aboriginal Elder. JC Effigy. Also 2022. Okay. So that's about it for there. Uh, and then... Just some stamps. Prince Philip Memorial stamps. Nice mini sheet. Nice little folder. And there's the presentation one. Yeah, Prince Philip and the Queen. They're getting on in age, aren't they? New generation coming through. Hopefully King Charles will hang around for a bit. He's not a young fella anymore. So that's about it, Kindred Collectors. I hope you like that. Um, there's lots of ways to collect. If I'm not careful, I'll end up collecting every, every Australian coin. But I won't be sad about that. Uh, that's the goal anyway, to get nice shiny sets. Hopefully of every year. And I hope you guys have a great time collecting. And yes, as, as I started out with, um, yeah, tomorrow, the Olympic and Paralympic coloured $1 coins. Recommended retail will be 20 bucks. Uh, I'm not interested in them. If they turn up in circulation, I'll keep them. But I don't see $20 as a good price. I think they're going a bit crazy with the prices on the uh, on some of the coins and uh, PNCs. They're kind of, uh, I don't think it's worth 20 but anyway. See what happens when the second hand market hits or if they turn up in circulation. Anyway, that's about it. Enjoy and happy collecting. Cheerio.